Hey everybody, it is Tanya Thrifty Treasures. Welcome to another video. So in today's video, uh, we will be talking about member profits. I run a Facebook group called Thrifty Jewelry Treasures. And each week I try and make a post where we can all share our jewelry sales so that we can learn from each other what's selling. Um, but first I wanna make sure you guys can hear and see me okay in the chat, I hope. And I want to say hi to everybody going on. Grumpy Barb is here and Patty Arlen. Hello. And Sherry and Turtle Trader. Hey, Turtle Trader. And love them anyway. 22 and Carissa Powell. Hello. Hi, my little corner of Georgia. Good evening. Hey, Mike. And Sheila's here. And Donna. Hi, Donna. And Lonnie. Hey, Lonnie. And forever. Luzon, hello, and Michelle Lathan, Precious Bunny. Hey, everybody. Okay, this is so exciting. Um, I don't usually do a stream at this hour, but um, since my son is still in recovery, he requires a lot of my time during the day, and I really can't sit down and focus on anything for longer than 20 or 30 minutes at a time, uh, which is why I'm doing this in the evening. So I'm just so excited to see all you guys here. This is so exciting. Um, and Brandy's here, and Rocky and Lisa and Rod at Win by Doing. Hello, everybody. Okay. Okay. Oh, thank you, Mike. You're too kind. <laughs> okay, so let's get started. So, um, but first I wanna invite you guys to join the group. So it's called Thrifty Jewelry Treasures on Facebook. And um, I'd love to have you over there and join the group and participate. It's a great place to learn about jewelry. And if you have questions about items that you wanna sell, um, we're all there for each other to help each other. So let's get started. Now I've pulled up the chat on my desktop here to the right. So hopefully I'll be able to see what you guys are saying in the chat because when I'm screen sharing, um, I cannot always see what you guys are talking about and commenting on what I'm talking about. So it might be something important I need to see. Um, oh, thank you, Rod. That's really nice of you to say. I appreciate that. And Carissa says, smash and give some love. Yes, everybody hit that thumbs up button. Always forget to say that. Thank you so much for reminding me, Carissa. Um, and Skippy's here. You want to say hi, Skippy? Hey, hi. Hi, everybody. Look, it's Steven Steph Resale Killers. They're here, too. Hey. <laughs> okay. I pick Coco up and let her say hi, too, but she's too mean. <laughs> okay, so let's get started. There were some really good sales. Now, this post goes from um, March 9th through March the 15th. I am running a little bit behind. But the post that I have going on right now is still active to the end of March. So it's the, so the next video will be a little bit uh, longer for sure because there'll be more sales on it. So let's get started. Okay, let me find that screen share button. That's not it. Okay, I found it. Here we go. Oh, uh, Jerry says, what's up, Skippy? <laughs> That's so sweet. How is little Jerry Seinfeld doing? Oh, hey, David. Thank you so much for the super chat. That's so sweet of you. Thank you. And hello, TCR. Um, okay, let me make the screen bigger. So hopefully you guys can see this screen nice and big. Um, this is an example of the posts that I make in the jewelry group where everybody can put the links to their cells. Let me get over here to my right window. Okay, let me make this bigger so I can see what I'm doing. Um, okay, I'm trying to look at my desktop to see what you guys are seeing. And Debbie's here, Swag Maven, hello. Okay, so this is what the post looks like. I just say, um, just copy and paste your best sale of the week in the comments down below, and I will share them in a video on my YouTube channel. So. Um, I've really been into like Victorian cats and dogs lately. So I'm having really a lot of fun with all these graphics that I've been making. Um, they're just too cute. I love the cats and the dogs. Okay, so let's get started with the first one. And I'm kind of using this post as a guide because lots of times people will include um, like details, like for example, how Brenda here has, um, and in her post, she, she's telling Angie that this is the pair of 14 karat gold Mylar earrings 
I had asked you about because Angie had a pair too. She got a pair too. Um, and a lot that she bought. So she said, mine sold today for $149.77 plus shipping. I found these in a velvet pouch jewelry bag that that uh, that had a silver piece of jewelry in it. The bag had little pockets on it and the, let's see more. Let's see, the bag had little pockets on the inside. I missed the earrings when I went through the first pouch. I paid two or four dollars for the bracelet and the earrings at a community sale I went to. It took about three weeks to sell. So, oh my goodness. I mean, I would be sick to my stomach because it sounds like whoever owned this probably forgot that those gold earrings were in the side of that pouch. But um, nonetheless, an amazing score by Brenda. And here is her listing. So hopefully you guys, let me make the screen bigger. Are seeing that good. So her title reads Mylar Italy 14 karat solid yellow gold round hinge tube earrings 5.28 grams. Let me scoot this over and make it bigger so you guys can see it better. Um, okay, so hopefully that looks good. I'm looking at my desktop. It looks like it looks good. Hey, Tam. Tammy's here. Okay, so and look at her pictures. They're really good. And lots of times, you guys, um, a quick way to figure out, well, for me at least, in the past, I've noticed the post, if it's a real gold pair of earrings, the post is usually going to be gold too. And a lot of times on the post is where it will be marked whether um, it's 14 karat gold or not. Now, I can't zoom in on these, but it looks like the writing might be kind of big. But a lot of times, like even on the... And this is kind of like a, a flat post, but a lot of times the post is just like, um, just like, like, it looks like almost like a straight line and it'd be right on the top of that line, super duper small. So it's something you really, really have to be looking for to notice it. Hope that made sense. Oh yeah, Brenda, I love her little uh, mannequin, her little model here. So she took a ton of pictures. I wonder if I can zoom in on that. Ooh, I can. Okay, so looky there. So that's nice and big. It says uh, 14 karat Italy Mylar. Hopefully I'm saying that right. Mylar, Mylar. Um, looks like my desktop, desktop is lagging behind, so I can't really tell if you guys are seeing it good. Okay, you are. Good, good, good. Um, hey, Silver Hair Stacker, Todd is here. Oh, gosh, Barb. Now, why did you have to bring up salsa and chips? Now I'm craving salsa and chips. <laughs> I haven't cooked dinner yet. Okay. So that is an awesome sale. Like, we'll just say $4. So because she said 2 or $4, she couldn't remember. So we'll just go with a higher number. At any rate, $4 into $149 is an amazing sale. Um, so congratulations to Brenda for that. The next cell comes from GN, and let's see, GN did give a little bit of back information, so I definitely wanted to read that for you guys. So she says she bought recently at a flea market for $2. Research told me these were made of a type of porcelain from the 1800s until current. Price competitively sold in one day. So here's Jan's listing, and her title reads Wedgwood Stamped, Stamped Jasper White Cameo with Cupid uh, Cherub Heart on Chain. And I have a piece, I think it's a cameo, and I have mine priced around $40, so I might need to go in and lower the price on mine. I might have mine priced too high. No big surprise there that I have something priced too high, right? <laughs> um Yes, tomorrow, Taco Tuesday. I actually made tacos for dinner last night. <laughs> I couldn't wait till Tuesday. And we tried those new, okay, I'm getting off track here, but I have to tell you, and I meant to post in the taco group and I forgot, but um, Ortega makes, and they're always experimenting with something new. They used to make these whole grain taco shells and they were amazing. And then they stopped making them and now they're making like a purple version of it. And I don't like the purple taco shells there. I just don't like them. I don't like the way they taste. But now they're making one that is has chia seeds in it. And, you know, we tried them last night and they're really good. I liked them a lot. So you guys should go try those. I'll post, I'll make a post in our taco group. 
And if you don't know about the taco group, I have a taco group on Facebook also. It's called All Things Tacos because I am nuts for tacos. Um, Mexican food is my absolute favorite. So, um, okay, back to GM sale. I'm so sorry, Jan, if you're watching, I did not mean to sabotage your sale here with tacos. <laughs> so, <clears throat> so she says she like she said she paid two dollars at a flea market. So let's just check out her pictures. And I think this necklace really pops there on that black background. And right there, you can see where it says Wedgwood made in England. Um, hey, Carol, welcome. Okay. I think the one that I have listed is this one looks like it's a gold chain. Mine is on a um, silver chain. It's a cameo. Very nice. Okay, next sale here is from Maria. That's my bird clock there, the one that has trouble. Sounds like a dead bird. <laughs> um, anyway, okay, let's focus Tanya. So Maria says, I had a few sales in the last few days, but nothing really major. Here is the one. Like it because it was quick. Scrap came from a recent jewelry jar. So <clears throat> she probably made her money back on the jar and uh, then some because um, with this scrap gold here. So she her title reads 2.2 grams of solid 10K gold and 0 0.6 grams of solid 14 karat gold, 2.8 grams total scrap. So, and, and really, she probably didn't even need no more pictures. I mean, this says everything right there. So, really great picture and um, definitely easy money for sure. So, great. So, Maria. This next one is also from Maria. Let me see what she says about this one. Um, okay, she let's see. She says, Emmons bracelet sold for $24.99. It was also in a jar. So here's her listing here. And I've only come across one Emmons piece in my jewelry findings, uh, a brooch. I believe I have it listed. It's probably on eBay and Etsy. Um, but yeah, good brand. Brings decent money, I suppose. And there's the little maker's mark. Let's see, we can see it big. Right over there to the right, you can see it says Emmons. Hey Don, Don's here. And Fran, hey Fran, and Sir Thrift's a lot, welcome. This is awesome. I'm so happy all you guys are here with me. Thank you for coming. Okay. So another great sale by Maria. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, the next sale here is from Angela. And Angela says a small sale found a small sale found this in a jewelry jar, took a best offer for $10 plus shipping. The little cells help my jewelry jar habit. Yes, and I could not agree more, Angela. <laughs> That's so true. You know, and I was thinking about that today because <clears throat> I did have time to list a few pieces uh, today. I mean, not a lot, but I did. And I thought, you know what? This takes me like zero time to create a listing for a piece of jewelry. I mean, minus the research I do, which I've tried to speed up my process on that. But, you know, if I pick up something for a quarter and I can make $15 on it plus charge them for shipping and I do that like five or ten times, I mean, I definitely think it's worth my time and my money still to list the jewelry. Because just this past weekend, I was thinking, you know, I really need to get my average sale price up. But for the smalls and stuff like that, and when it doesn't take you a whole lot of time to list it, I mean, I'm not going to stress about that, like getting my average sale price up. Because like, you know, I always say the smalls can definitely add up. Okay, so it's vintage Russian black lacquer pen brooch 
hand-painted floral artist signed wood. So these, um, I come across these often. I have, I have a handful of them myself. I probably should just list them all in a lot. But so she had it up. Well, that says it sold for 18, but I guess best offer doesn't show. So yeah, so she sold it for $10 and she charged $3.50 for shipping. And you guys, if I have a one-of-a-kind piece that nobody else is selling on eBay, I will definitely uh, throw in shipping on that because with shipping for me, whether I do it free or not, it's it's competitive competitively determined. So, you know, especially with books, that's a big deal. Like if there's 10 books that are selling and, and I'm going to come in as the 11th seller and everybody's offering free shipping, well, guess what? I'm going to offer free shipping too um, and probably try and underscore all of them and beat them their price <laughs> unless mine is, you know, better condition or something. You always have to take that into consideration. Okay. Oh, great. The washing machine's done now. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. This next one is by Debbie Parker. And I was so proud of Debbie for this sell. It was an amazing one. She says she paid $15 at an estate sale and it sold for $75. Yay. <laughs> So this is a gorgeous piece, you guys. So her title reads, Kenneth J. Lane, brooch, pin, coral, cabochons, and Swarovski crystals signed. That is just gorgeous. And for $15, what a steal. Let's see if we can see the close-up. Yeah, and this is what Kenneth J. Lane pieces will look like. It'll literally just be a K, a J, and an L, just like that. And I'm not sure what that says down there. Beautiful piece. That was an exciting sell, I'm sure. Okay, the next sell is from Christy. She says, these were in a bag of earrings my mom gave me that she didn't want anymore. So these were free for me. Sold in one week for a best offer of $25. These are really interesting and unique. So her title reads, Sterling Silver Spur Pierced Earrings. Um, and she's saying that the spurs really move. Cowboy South West Western. And this is a great time to be selling these because, you know, we just had the rodeo here in Houston. I'm sure other states have rodeos. I really don't know. But, yeah, our rodeo here in Houston just wound up and finished. I don't make it out there every year. It's always so crowded. And really the biggest thing is parking. And I don't like being at the mercy of a bus. And you have to have a bus shuttle you over there. And it's just... You know, you just really have to put it in neutral if you're going to the rodeo. Like, you cannot be in a hurry about anything. <laughs> hey, Bone Crap Picker, welcome. And let's be happy thrifter. Welcome, you guys. Make sure I didn't miss anybody. Yeah, Sir Thrissel Lot says, anytime I find any item that is hand painted, I'm a sucker and usually buy it. I'm very partial to one of a kind items. And I have to say, I am too. Definitely. Oh, wait, Uniquely Me's here? Oh, she is. Hey, Tracy, welcome. Okay, I didn't see her come in. Yes, I was thinking that too. I was thinking articulated, yes. Doing good, Bone Crack. Hope you're doing good too. Okay. Awesome sell, especially when you get the item for free. Let's see. The next sell is from Maria. She says, I had a couple of sales in the last 24 hours. The coral, coral sterling earrings that came from the jar sold for $49.99. So let's take a look at her listing. Here's her listing. And you guys, I have to say, <laughs> I was thinking about this while I was pulling up all these tabs to make this video. Um, if I had to have a jewelry seller crush, it would definitely be Maria because she is killing it with the jewelry. Like, I don't know exactly where she lives, 
but I don't think there are any other jewelry sellers or collectors in her area because she gets the most amazing pieces. So, and I'm just so happy to have her as a part of our group and to have her sharing her sales because I have learned so much from her. And as a matter of fact, I even tried to get her on a um, jewelry detective show, but she's a little camera, slack, camera shy, so she really didn't want to come on. And thank you, Tracy. I see that you are sharing items in my Poshmark closet right now. Thank you so much. <laughs> um, so yeah, came out of a jewelry jar, you guys. What an amazing sell. And it really looks great on that black background. I've been experimenting with the black background a lot too. And one of the things that I really, really like about the black background is it drastically reduces my editing time for the pictures. Because most of the time when I take the pictures on the black background, there's like zero editing involved. Like I take the picture and it looks great and I don't have to, I don't have to do anything else to it. Just upload them and then move on to the description. So awesome sale. The next sale is from Maria. It's a um, Ripka bangle. It sold for $71.24. She paid $6.99 for it. The original pouch was given to me by a friend who buys Ripka from QVC. Okay. I love QVC. I was telling Kurt the other night, I could easily become one of those horror women who, who become addicted to like buying stuff on QVC because they had, oh, what were we watching? Because lots of times when he's like channel surfing, I guess that's one of the channels he goes through. I'm like, wait, put it back. They were selling those, um, um, oh, it was Vionic bionic sandals and they came like in all the basic colors you know like brown and navy blue and i was like man i could really use a pair of those and they were like you know pay 14.50 for four months and <laughs> you know i mean they just make it too easy to to get things to you right so okay awesome sell i i don't think i've ever come across a judith rip ripka piece so let's take a look at it so here are her pictures. There's a little jewelry pouch that came in. And there is where it is Hallmark, or the Maker's Mark, rather. So Judith Ripka, 925CZ Thailand. Very cool. Have any of you guys ever um, came across or sold a Judith Ripka piece? Don says her grandma was a QVC addict. <laughs> well, you know, I mean, there's an upside to that. Like if you're an eBay seller, I guess you could, you know, always sell your stuff if you decided not to wear it or use it. Um, okay, Lonnie's talking about, Lonnie and Mike are talking about nostrils and noses. What is going on? Hey, Brandy, welcome. And Murphy, the Esky, hello. Oh. <laughs> Sir Thrust a lot says, um, talking to Steven Stev, have you seen the Friends episode where Joey becomes a hand model? That's so funny. Do you, okay, so do you guys know, um, okay, Million Dollar Listing on Bravo, right? I love that show. I don't always remember to watch it, but when it comes on, I like to watch it. And Ryan, <laughs> Ryan used to be a hand model, you guys. So it's the real thing. Could you imagine, you know, like modeling jewelry and stuff and getting paid for it? I think that'd be a great job. Like you wouldn't have to worry about what your makeup looks like or what your hair looks like. Um, let's see. Steph is asking, why is that gold silver? Oh, that's a good point. Let me go back and read it. Um, let's see. Single braided sterling silver gold. Well, a lot of times silver pieces are gold plated. So that's probably what has happened. Let's see if she says yellow gold clad. I'm not sure, but it's probably just some kind of a, a gold coating over sterling. Okay. So Rod is asking the same thing, but yeah, 
I'm pretty sure that's just some kind of a gold coating over it, you guys. And that's common. A lot of jewelry is made that way to be real silver with a gold over overlay on it. So the next cell is from Bonnie. She says a 14 karat gold theological society pendant bought at an, at a, an antique market for $4 and sold for about $76. This was a private sale and this pendant is going to Portugal. So very cool pendant. And the next sale is from Pat. She says it's her first sale. Sale, yay! Congratulations. She found it in a jewelry jar. Uh, she listed it for seventy-five ninety-nine, and she accepted a best offer of sixty-five dollars. So here is her listing, and. Um, Hey, Walter, welcome. Sorry, you guys, I get distracted looking at the chat. Murphy says he has serious man hands. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> Y'all are funny. Crack me up. Okay, so her title reads, uh, Classico, I'm going to chop this word, so just get ready for it. Ippolita, Ippolita, sterling silver, 1.5 inch wavy hoop earrings. Um, and I've never heard of this brand. So let's see if we can see a close-up of the maker's mark. Huh. Ippolita. Ippolita. I'm sure there's a more elegant way I should be saying that. Uh, 925. That's good to know. So thank you so much for sharing that cell because I had never heard of that brand before. Let's see here. The next cell is from Barbara. She says she bought these pens for around $2.00. Um, and they sold over the weekend for $21.50 plus free shipping. So her title reads, Huge Vintage Pen Lot Lapel Hat Pens Animals Sports States 85 Pieces. So that is a ton of pens. Oh, what a cute little mermaid. And you know what? Now would be a good time for me to tell you guys about a bolo. Um, a lot of times you see this pin here. Let me see if I can zoom in on it. This pin here, it says 50. I cannot read the details of it, but a lot of times these pins that, you know, talk about like, not talk about, but, you know, they say 50 years of service or 25 years of service. A lot of times these pins, depending upon the company, can be extremely collectible. And if you want to see what I'm talking about, just do a search on eBay um, you know, search years of service pin or lapel or something like that. And you'll see and just sort highest to lowest. And you can see the ones that are selling. But I've definitely sold pins like that for good money before in the past. So that was a really good sale. The dogs are looking at me. It must be dinner time. Now they're going to start whining at me. <laughs> uh Okay, I'm so glad you guys are having fun and talking with each other. <laughs> okay, let's move on, you guys. Sorry, I had to get caught up in the chat. Okay, this next sale is also from Debbie. And Debbie says, I got this set and a lot of rhinestone jewelry that I bought from Shop Goodwill. I paid $47 for everything. Some absolutely stunning pieces, and I will more than make my money back. Figure I paid $2 for this set. And, yeah, I cannot stress enough how you should, like, scour shopgoodwill.com because there are deals to be had there. Um, you can buy, they don't call them jewelry jars, but they'll call them, like, grab bags or lot of jewelry. And there is a method to the madness when buying jewelry on there, especially on lots. So you'll your first couple of sales you'll get familiar with um, the location of the Goodwill that's selling the jewelry. And so like for me, I've got a running list that I would never ever share with anybody. <laughs> uh, 
you know, where I've actually found real gold from, right? Because like, you just never know if Goodwill might be watching YouTube videos or something. I mean, you just, and you don't want to tell your friends because then they'll start buying lots from there too. And then you won't be getting the good stuff no more. So, but it's easy enough to figure out for yourself. Um, I've found, actually only found one piece of real gold from shopgoodwill.com and a lot. And it was a, um, I want to say it was a 10 carat, uh, it was a 10 carat gold bracelet. And it was like from Australia. It said some kind of Australian uh, hallmark on it. Um, but yeah, I scrapped that. And that was before I knew I could probably get a lot more money if I sold it on eBay or Poshmark. So always, you know, try and weigh out which one's going to be your best option. But back to Debbie's listing here. So her title reads Sarah Coventry necklace and clip earrings set gold red cabochon clear crystals. And this is a gorgeous set. Really beautiful. I love the gold, the gold with the red like that. It's so pretty. And their clip earrings. Really nice score. And I've, in the jewelry group, you guys, um, I know for a fact, like my friend Catherine, she's like just bought a brooch outright singly, single, just the one brooch from a shop, goodwill.com, and then turned around and sold it for a really nice profit. I think it was a Jaguar brooch. I can't remember all the details about it, though. Steve and Steph, you buy from Shop Goodwill, really? Um, okay, so Debbie is asking, do they ship, Tanya? Do they, do they ship? Does shopgoodwill.com uh, ship? Is that what you're asking? Let's see, let me go up. Yeah. Try the shop goodwill.com. And I would uh, highly recommend that you definitely want to get a shipping quote before you agree to place a bid on something because that was a real shocker for me the first time when I had to pay like $20 or $25 in shipping. So you just want to make sure uh, that you know all your cost because they're not just going to charge you shipping, they're also going to charge you a handling fee and, you know, no telling what other kind of fees. So you just want to make sure before you place your bid. And there's an easy way to do that. I think it's a shipping quote. It's one of the tabs under the um, auction item that they're offering. It should be pretty easy to find. Let's see. So our next one is from Brenda. She says she bought at a garage sale for $3 and it sold for $27.92 plus shipping. And it took about four months to sell. So her title reads, Kirk's Folly Enamel Fairy Pixie Pins Whimsy Jeweled Brooch Retired. And this is really pretty. I love it. It's so whimsical for sure. Um, I've heard of Kirk's Folly before. I actually have a necklace here at the house. I need to get listed by Kirk's Folly. But I don't really know a whole lot about the maker. But your pictures are definitely awesome, Brenda. Oh, and it even has the box. That's nice. Very nice. And you know, whenever I am at a garage sale or shoot, even at a thrift store, if they're, you know, they're real busy and I don't have a lot of time, I, if it's, if a piece is hallmarked or there's a maker's mark on it, I will usually just pick it up because, you know, eight, nine times out of 10, it's going to be worth something. So. Next item is from Nadine. She says, this was a was part of a lot I purchased on Shop Goodwill. See, another one, you guys. So it cost about $2.50. Um, she says, thank you. I'm so addicted to this site. Yes, Nadine, I am too. It's awesome. <laughs> I really have to control myself and not even go to that website right now because I'm just so overwhelmed. There's so much jewelry I need to go through. <laughs> but it's, it's a ton of fun. I really enjoy it. I get so excited whenever I see those boxes on my patio that have arrived from shopgoodwill.com. You know, so, I mean, that's why I'd say I can easily become addicted to QVC. <laughs> so, okay, so let's go look at her listing. So her title reads, Kenneth J. Lane, interchangeable hoop earrings, post gold tone, 10 colors. 
And this is something that I definitely would have passed over at a garage sale or something. I just wouldn't think that people are still wearing these, but I guess they do. And, and really it's pretty thrifty and smart uh, to have one pair of earrings that you can wear. What did it say? 10 pairs. Like it's basically like you have 11 pairs of earrings, right? Cause you got the gold and then the colors. So that is really cool. Awesome sale. So I was excited about this one from Lynn. She says, this is one item out of a $50 lot I purchased from eBay. And I have definitely bought jewelry lots on eBay too. I bought, I bought a whole lot recently, as a matter of fact, uh, that I need to go through. I've got just tons of, tons and tons of brooches. And I'm extremely partial to the animal ones. Like I love animal brooches and stuff like that. So whenever I see a lot of them on eBay, I like to scoop them up. If, you know, that looks like there's something good in there I can make some money on. So she says she found her very first piece of Bakelite. Yay, that's exciting. And then she says still plenty more out of that lot to make some gravy on. So here's our listing. How cute is this little green fake light elephant pen? It's adorable. So her title reads vintage jade bake light elephant pen with articulated head. I'm just trying to see what you guys are talking about real quick. Oh, David's leaving. Bye, David. Thanks for stopping in and for the super chat. I appreciate it. Okay, so, and look how she put a little quarter there. That's always good to do. I don't always remember to do it. But $51, wow. That's awesome. A really good sale. Always exciting to find the bake light, especially a rare piece like this elephant. Like, I... I don't think I've ever personally come across an animal shaped uh, piece of bake light. Only the bangles are the only thing I've really ever found and some buttons. So let's see. So the next item is from Kathleen. And this is a Tresca rhinestone medieval Gothic cross with crystals, multi-layered beads necklace. And I think she said, okay, so she's got this in a jewelry jar. Uh, so she says she probably paid about 25 cents to a dollar for it. And she took a best offer after four months for $40. And this is a, um, this is a designer, uh, maker, whatever you want to call it. That I don't think I might even, even passed on a Tresca piece before. I don't know. I don't think I've ever sold a Tresca piece, but that's interesting and something that you guys will want to be on the lookout for. Their pieces look really unique, really pretty. Okay, here we have a sale from Maria. She says, I had a few sales, but this was the quickest and most profitable one. Sold the brooch in 24 hours after listing. She paid $6.00. And it sold for $64.99. So here's her listing. Her title reads, reads Swavorsky Swan Sign Clear White Crystal Snowflake Brooch Pen Silver with Tags. And there's her pictures. Let's see if I can zoom in so you can see the swan. So you see that little swan there in the center? That will always mean that you have a Swavorsky piece. Hopefully I'm saying that right because I always butcher that word too. <laughs> but yeah, I just recently got a pair of earrings, you guys. I don't know why in the heck I haven't listed them yet. But um, always be on the lookout for that little hallmark there, that little trader's mark rather. I get those two confused. Um, let's see. Okay, so the next item is from Maria. She says she sold a C Kripel, hopefully I'm saying that right, Kripel ring for $77.99. Don't remember how much I paid, but it was no more than $6. Again, another brand I've never heard of before. So that is awesome 
Hopefully you guys are learning a lot too. And there you can see the maker's mark right there. Uh, Steph is asking, what's so great about Swarovski, by the way? I know it's special, but I don't know why. Clarity. I don't know why either, Steph. <laughs> I really don't. I couldn't tell you. I guess it's collectible, desirable, sought after. I'm not sure. Um, let's see. The next item from Maria. Sold the ring that came from sold the ring that came from last week's jar. It is one gram of 14 karat gold and it's sold for $49.99. Wow. Like I don't even think. 14 karat gold is worth that much for a gram. Now I'm going to have to look. It's been a while since I've looked at my little gold calculator, you guys, because I haven't really come across any. But now I'm curious and I have to look real quick. So let's see, one gram and it's 14 karat. So yeah, one gram of 14 karat gold right now is going for $25.38. So let's look at our listing. Our listing reads solid 14 karat yellow gold wave design ring band stackable size seven. That's a really cool ring. I totally wear that. And there it is. There's a little um, hallmark right there, 14 karat. And there's the picture of it on the scale. Always a good idea to do, especially with the, um, the real gold pieces and the silver. The precious metals. Okay. We are getting closer to the end, you guys. Okay. So the next one, also by Maria, she said she got these for $4, and she just sold them for $61.74. These are gorgeous. Vintage Kenneth Lane, Kenneth J. Lane drop dangle earrings, blue green, cabochons, crystal gold. Loving them on that black background for sure. Here's all of her pictures. And there's the maker's mark right there. Now, I remember uh, earlier I said the pieces would be marked, what did I say, K J L? But this piece here is marked Kenneth Lane, so clearly I guess they can be marked other ways too. I have a really pretty uh, gold and pearl key necklace somewhere around here that's Kenneth J. Lane, and I've worn it a couple times, and I was going to keep it, but I think I might be ready to sell it. I need to get that listed. At any rate, it's always a good um, designer to be on the lookout for. The pieces seem to be really collectible and desirable, so pick up those pieces by Kenneth J. Lane. Did I say what she bought and sold them for? Yeah, so paid four dollars and sold for sixty-one seventy-four. You guys see, Maria is making some money on these jewelry sales. You guys. <laughs> um, let's see. So the next one is from Pat. She says she found this in a jewelry jar and it sold for $19.99. And here is her listing. So the title reads Tribal Bohemian Antique Silver Choker Statement Necklace. And this is a really unique piece. Really pretty. So thank you so much to Pat for sharing that. And we're done, you guys. Now, keep in mind, the next one I do is going to be a lot longer. And hopefully, I'll be able to do it live. Uh, and I tell you, the real reason why I like to do these live, this is the first live one I've ever done. Um, let me come back to me. Let me see, where am I? 
Oh, there I am. Oh my goodness. Okay. Um, is because of the editing. It takes so much time for me to edit these videos um, for the member profits because usually in the past what I've done is I would film like 10 cells at a time and um, you know, then I would piece it all together in iMovie and then upload it. And then you guys know that takes forever. And so whenever I do this live, it's just such a super time saver. And it really uh, makes the whole process a lot easier for me to and get it to you guys faster too. Um, like I said, the next uh, next one we do, I can already tell there's a whole bunch of comments on there. So there's going to be a whole lot of jewelry sales to share with you guys. So I'm really excited about that one. And you know what? I forgot to share any of my sales. I wasn't even thinking. I don't even know if I had any. I've been really slow. Uh, lots of, uh, not lots of, but just hardly no activity at all. My eBay store. While I was doing this uh, video, I did get an offer for something. And I'm totally going to accept it. It was like $20 for something I paid a dollar for. So I'll be accepting that here in a second. And then hauling butt over to Poshmark to cancel it <laughs> over there, right? You always got to remember <laughs> when you do the cross posting. Uh, so let me see what you guys are talking about in the chat real quick. So let's see what Tammy's saying. I don't sell on eBay yet, but for those of you that sell on eBay and Poshmark, where does jewelry sell better? Or is it about the same on both platforms? I have been on Poshmark for a very short period of time, but for me, I would definitely, you know, have to say a little bit of both. I mean, I was surprised for the amount of jewelry sales that I've already had on Poshmark. Um, and I was surprised at stuff that had been sitting on my eBay store for a while that has sold on Poshmark. So I'm so excited for you, Tammy, to be selling on Poshmark because I know you're stepping out of your comfort zone because I know you're not selling on eBay. So I was super excited to hear when you, you know, we're going to be selling on Poshmark now and your store looks great. I've been checking you out. So, and if any of you guys are on Poshmark, um, I also have a Poshmark group on Facebook. It is called Poshmark Talk. So I would love to see you guys over there. And we have one that's called Antique Booth Talk, as long as I'm talking about groups. <laughs> so come join all the groups. Um, Debbie Porter says she likes it better live. I do too. I love to interact with you guys. So um, more than anything, it's just going to be like opening up all those tabs because I know it's going to be a lot bigger and probably a longer video next time. So uh, Debbie says it's been slow for her too. Hey, sissy. Um, so Rod says, I sell on both, but I am new to Posh, so I can't speak from experience. Yeah. A lot of people are joining Poshmark right now. You sold five things so far, Terry. Okay, well, the last time I looked, you had only sold two. So I need to go see what you sold. So, and hello, Michelle Ann. I don't think I said hi to you. Hey, Wade, how are you doing? Thanks for stopping by. So I just I just want to thank everybody for joining me. I had a lot of fun doing this live. And I think that, you know, from now on, I will do it live. I'll just have to learn how to manage all those tabs being open at once. <laughs> so um, I want to remind everybody to hit that thumbs up button um, and subscribe if you haven't already. And we will see you in the next video. Mwah. Bye, you guys. Love you. Thanks for joining. See you next time.